So it's porgy time. Water's warming up. Striped bass season's slowing down. Weird species are moving in. And it's just like that time of year to mix it up. And I personally love porgy fishing. I think they taste great. They fight hard on light tackle. And there's like a zillion ways to catch them and fish for them. And it's kind of like ocean bluegill fishing. And I love bluegill fishing. Um, but I know a lot of people use bait and chum for porgy and it's probably the most effective way to catch them. But to be honest, all the bigger porgy I've caught have been on artificial lures and you can catch a lot of small porgy pretty easily on bait. And, uh, but if you're trying to get sporty, I think artificial is the way to roll. And, uh, here in this video, I'm using a 21 gram hoagie heavy minnow and I've got a number one single hook tip with a piece of gulp sandworm on it. It's a little two inch, uh, gulp sandworm, but you can break apart and just use like little pieces of, uh, of gulp sandworm it works the best and other little pieces of gulp work as well. But I, I've found the sandworm to work the best with uh, the porgy and any kind of bottom feeders. Um, but the reel I'm using is a 3000 series Pen Clash 2. I've got 20 pound braid and 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. About like a 4 foot leader uh, tied together with a uni to uni knot. And the reason why I'm using a slightly heavier tackle is because this rig will catch pretty much anything. I've caught blues, tautog, flounder, striper, weak fish. I mean like really anything bites the heavy minnow or like any metal in, in general. Um, it's just like a really versatile lure and so I'm just a little sized up for that reason but um, really any shiny metal will work for them. Um, I like the little heavy minnow because it uh, sinks quick and casts far. Um, so I get, you know, a lot out of, you know, using the little small profile and also just catches everything. Um, but cast masters would work little plastic jigs, you know, small worm, like little Ned rigs, just like anything on a sized one or two hook, epoxy jigs, little bucktails, um, basically anything you can bounce off the bottom, but I like to cast out let it hit the bottom and do really erratic snap jigs to grab their attention and then just continually let it hit the bottom. As soon as I feel the bottom, I'll maybe count one, two and then start snapping it back, um, doing little pops like one, two pops, two, two pops. Um, but porgy are pretty aggressive fish. Um, they'll swim far. Uh, mostly they're usually holding around some kind of like bouldery structure, but they can also be in flats, especially when they're spawning. Um, these fish are spawning right now and they're in pretty much just like big muscle beds. That's where I'm fishing for them between like 25, you know, these between 30 and 20 feet is, is the primarily where I'm fishing for these porgy on this day, but they'll be as shallow as, you know, three feet as the summer progresses. Um, so it's really a wide range of depths that you can fish for porgy, but they're super aggressive. They'll follow your jig for a while. You know, as long as you keep putting it in front of their face, they'll chase it. Um, but you know, the nice thing about catching any sort of bigger porgy is you can be pretty selective with harvesting. Um, I think like one or two big 15 inch porgies is all you need for a meal. And on this day they were spawning, so I just kept the males. Um, but yeah, I think the, the best porgy of this trip was a beautiful, you know, 15 inch jumbo. I filleted it up, fried it, finessed, and uh, made some fine pineapple porgy pizza with it. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if this video was helpful to you. Like it, share it. Um, feel free to leave a comment. I'm happy to answer and help you out. And uh, I got gotcha. you. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.